and we're off. Welcome to Receiving Famous Packages with your host, Nigel Rathbone, where we wait for the post to bring our packages from famous people or famous locations. Surprise, motherfucker! Broadcasting live from high atop Stonehead Peak in the Blue Mountain Range, overlooking gorgeous downtown Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, it's the Jeff and Dan Show! It's Wednesday, it's 7 o'clock, it's time for the Jeff and Dan Show! It's the show that's heard all around the world and on a select few stations on Mercury. And sometimes it's the only show piped into the San Pueblo Public Mental Hospital. Usually because of patient request. It's the Jeff and Dan Show, folks. Hey. (laughs) It's the show that lets you exclusively listen in on two beauty school dropouts and their private, most intimate conversations. Welcome, eavesdroppers. We have a tremendous show for you tonight. We have snippets, we have listener mail, and the usual talk about food and intoxicants. Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the Dan in the Jeff and Dan Show, and sitting across from me is none other than a Jeff in the Jeff and Dan Show. Jeff, how goes it this week? Help! It's falling and I can't get it up! (laughs) All right. Woohoo! I gotta turn you up a little bit there, jeez. All right. All right. (sighs) How are you this week, sir? Oh, I'm not too bad. Good, good, good. Yes, it's been a long week, man. I had a lot of stuff going on this week, of much I can't talk about because, you know. Well, yeah, we can't divulge everything out to our wonderful, lovely audience. That's right. We love them on all, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> all six. <laughs> it's growing. Last week it was three. I know, right? And we had two, then we had six and three, and oh my if God, you, it keeps bouncing around. If you are a newcomer to the Jeff and Dan Show, I personally want to say thank you. And Welcome. And welcome. Yeah. Now listen and get the hell out. <laughs> I will fuck the shit out of you. No thanks. I didn't wear a diaper tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the women got to tell them. That's right. Jeff, guess what today is? What is today? Today is National Shrimp Day. Ooh, Shrimp Day. Yeah, you know what? Last, uh, two weeks ago, it was National Shrimp Scampi Day. Oh yeah, I remember that. Do you think the Bubblegum Shrimp Corporation is behind all of this? I do, man. Mm-hmm. Just like greeting cards are behind most of the holidays we we do. Yeah. American yeah. greetings is what you got. <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Fat people die quicker. Well, wait a minute. That ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Yeah, that that's really cool, though, shrimp. Yeah, I do think somebody's probably behind that. Yeah. Tomorrow is National Twilight Zone Day. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not quite sure how they got that in there. That's uh, yeah, that, that's all right. That's well, kind of weird. Hopefully, it, it's not congressional sort of thing. They just yeah passed the day, right? And Friday is National Nutty Fudge Day. Ooh, I don't like Nutty Fudge. <laughs> it just sounds like something horrible you look at <laughs> in a toilet. Yes, it looks disgusting. I like Nutty Fudge. Yeah. I like Nutty Fudge. I like fudge, any kind of fudge. Yeah. Um, I even like stupid fudge, like white chocolate, strawberry. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy the hell out of that. Cheesecake fudge, which is oh, kind of no. like a fuck-up, man. It's like, hey, we got two things, and we're putting them together, but it tastes like one, but it's actually the other. <laughs> it's like, this turd, it doesn't smell like a turd. It smells like roses, but it's a turd. <laughs> and it tastes like roses. <laughs> However, the roses smell like ass. <laughs> Speaking of which, I got to tell you, man, chicken enchilada soup, it's complicated to explain. Let me try to explain it. Ever smell a pair of panties your wife has worn for the second day where she might have sneezed and peed in them, but now they are sweaty from chub rub and along with the pair of jeans she just finished wearing that had a pseudo-fresh laundry smell, but mixed with a scent of mildew because your washer and dryer smell like that? Yeah. Give me a second and I will. Chicken enchilada soup smells like that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> sorry man i just had to, i had a bad experience with that at uh chili's one of the only places you can probably get chicken enchilada soup which did you is, did you eat it did yeah, you try it i ate it oh yeah. my god i ate the whole thing You're but then i was like the next time i'm getting something different <laughs> you stuck underwear in your mouth i don't want a pair of panties in my mouth fuck that that's gross well maybe i do i don't know depends what she looks like and that's, depends which day of the month it is that's right i'm thinking man sniff the bicycle seat you know, I don't care that she's 10. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this seat's been removed. There's a dildo there now. She's having a good time whenever she rides. <laughs> it's either hers or her gay brother's. 
<laughs> was the dildo used to be pink and now it's sort of brown? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> yeah, that's just gross. <laughs> yeah, we are sick, twisted individuals, Jeff. We need help. I know, right? But until then, let's have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, do, do you think women talk nasty, gross shit like this? No, unless they're Amy Schumer, then maybe. You don't think within their girl clique they're not talking about how how we smell? I mean, they might be talking about chunky act, chunky we... periods and shit like that. But yeah, 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 you know. Well, they would probably do it in a much more acceptable feminine way instead of using adjectives like chunky. <laughs> 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 because that's intended to describe women in a in a way, so they just don't do that because it's an emotional <laughs> breakage for them. It's like they can talk about periods all they want, just don't mention chunky. Just don't say chunky. Did somebody say candy bar? That's right. It looks like snot coming out of my pussy, but you know. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, man. I've had some bad days. (laughs) Yeah, that's just fucked up. Hey, guess what? Hmm. Next week, we're having special guests on the show. Oh, yeah. Yes, we're having Chef Tammy Uh and Cousin Jackie. Nice. Uh, I I want to call her Cousin Jackie Onassis, but I don't think she would appreciate that very much. There used to be a Jackie on the '70s show too. Remember uh, Malik- Mila Kunis or whatever? She no. used to play that oh, role. Yeah, she yeah. was a really annoying yeah. one. You know, the yeah. one dated Ashley. She Kutcher. she was annoying. And she fucking married him in real life. How crazy is that? <laughs> you know, I was watching Millionaire the other day. You mm-hmm. know, who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh my god, that show's still on. Is that your final answer? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, believe it or not, it is. And it comes on, it's a 30-minute daytime show. And they just book people right through there. It's crazy. It's not like it was before, the way they would sit there and like wait forever for somebody to say something like, well, or let the contestant do that stupid shit where they were like, well, I don't think it's answer A because that doesn't look like chunky period to me. And, you know, anyway, there was a fat guy on there. And I shit you not, <laughs> the guy who's hosting the show. <laughs> so we'll be right back and let's see if he can keep rolling <laughs> I bet he can <laughs> and then, and then it, to, to top it off man the really really one that fucking gets me is that he's sitting there and he's looking right at the guy and he goes well he had that other answer but he bounced and went to this other answer and I'm like dude seriously he just fucking said that I'm like, why don't you just say this guy's rolling up on this thing and doing that and bouncing away, you know. Playing for a huge jackpot. (laughs) He's going for the million pounds. Anyway. (laughs) That would suck. But yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe they did that. It reminds me of uh, Tom Tucker from from, uh, The Family family guy. Guy. Yeah, where he's like... Let's go to our Asian reporter, Chica, uh, Trisha Takanawa, and get her get her slant on things. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fucking awesome. Thank you, Tom. I'm standing <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. She always does that. Yeah, it's crazy. Let's go over to Ali uh, for weather. It's hot! <laughs> okay, thank you, Ali. <laughs> Yeah, that's a trip show. I love it. Yeah. Fucking Seth MacFarlane's classic. He's classic. Mm, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. I now have dubbed him as the uh, funniest man alive. Yeah, yeah. I would actually go that far as to say that. Yeah, that's I, actually true. He took the crown from um, uh, oh, Jim Carrey. Okay. And since then, he's never given it up. Right. I, I don't know how he does it, man. Uh, the Simpsons... It's a good show, but it ain't what it was for 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. They're starting to recycle material now. Well, they started, they started getting a little more hardcore. I think they saw what the fam- what Family Guy can do, and they realized, hey, man, we can, we can go a little bit further with our, with our humor. We don't have to stay here. We can have poop jokes and stuff like that, too. But, uh, yeah, they don't go quite as far as Family Guy does. Right, right. And they've been in the business a long time. Yeah. But... Seth MacFarlane is still making fresh stuff. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's not staled at all. He's not getting stale. It's like he saved up like this bank of funny shit over all his lifetime. Am... It's like just sit there on his phone, just typing shit in, and people are like, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm going to be more powerful than any of you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. He got his start, man, and boom, he exploded. And it was really crazy because they canceled Family Guy. I think it was... Uh, 2003 or 2002 they canceled family guy and we're going to put it back on and then uh 
a whole bunch of people protested. They came up and said, Fox, you need to put Family Guy back on. And does they the, did. Does the guy who signed the death warrant for the cancellation of that show still work for Fox? No, I don't think he does. I doubt it. I don't, yeah. Because that was the same time period they canceled Firefly after they fucked up all the episodes on it. They're doing a real shit job. I like this show, okay? I like this show. i got to tell you about this show, okay? It's a great show, okay? Great show. It's called uh, Lucifer. Lucifer. Great show. I I, I saw uh, Los Angeles, of course. Yes. I, I saw uh, previews for that show. Awesome. Great show. I love it. It's based after a comic book, which I didn't find out until like two two episodes ago, which this shit's been on. That's probably like 20-something episodes already. Love the show, but they are fucking it up across the board because what they're doing is they're putting these big breaks between... Like, they'll show an episode, and they'll take a break for, like, eight weeks, and then bring it back out. And I'm like, dude, you can only stress your fans out so far before they go ape shit on you. You know what I mean? Before they finally just snap and don't watch the shit anymore. I agree with that. So, yeah, but I found that was a comic book. I was like, wow, that's really cool. And it was a, it was a fresh take on, you know what I mean, on the supernatural and the and the, uh, the camaraderie that's great on the show. But the fact that Lucifer is so punny, you know what I mean? The guy is fucking punny as shit. He comes up with stuff all the time. It's just super, super funny. But, but yeah, I like the show, and Fox is sitting there screwing it up, man. <laughs> Don't they always? Yeah. Like, like, like the only hit shows Fox has had, other than their news, is cartoons. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Yeah, they haven't had a successful. So uh, they haven't had one in a long time. Married with Children was their first, I, and that actually last. lasted really long. No, it lasted. It was like twenty-two seasons. The first and show. last. Oh, yeah. Successful, yeah. Uh, normal show. Yes, yeah. It wasn't they just any... don't know what to do with it now that they have one in Lucifer. Yeah, they got this little toy, like a little kid. Yeah. little toy they got to break and bust. Exactly. Yeah, they got to throw it up against the wall and see what happens. If anybody's still going to be paying attention at that point, smack you in the middle of the forehead with it. <laughs> you know, so yeah. It's... I got a question for you, man. This I is, got this, an is, this is kind of serious. A little bit serious. Okay, not serious at all. Sexual harassment, mm-hmm. okay? A guy usually gets called in for sexual harassment, usually, nine times out of ten. If the guy is good-looking, <clears throat> he never gets called for sexual harassment. I've actually had a friend at places that I worked at who... It was you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> good-looking guy, you know what I mean? Real good, good-looking, classy you know, kind of dude. And he would say fucking some of the... Mean, uh, not meanest, but some of the... Gritty as shit to women. And like nobody examples? ever turned them in. Yeah. Uh, no, or not our, right offhand. Okay. I mean, he would say sexual. He would like make a lot of sexual innuendos in ways that were just like, oh, man, he's like, I'm absolutely dripping. You know? <laughs> and chicks were just like, oh. And then I would go in the room and be like, I'm absolutely dripping. And they'd be just like, oh, pfft, you need to sign off on these fucking sexual harassment claims. You know? It's just, it's it's very strange to me that that would be the case. You know what I mean? You would think that women in general would just be completely offended by anybody, no matter who they are. Are you fucking taking a selfie? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm taking. Are you a selfieing? Selfie. You're selfie. Yeah. yeah, you can selfie. <laughs> selfie all you it, want. It's only promotional. We're gonna do this show, but first, let me take a selfie. <laughs> um, you know what? It doesn't surprise me. Uh, Double standard. Yeah, does not surprise me. Doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I've seen it lots of times before, not with sexual harassment, um, but sometimes good-looking people get away with more stuff than, uh, shall we say, not so good-looking people. <laughs> not the hottest of the bunch. <laughs> Why do yeah. women get away with it? I don't know. I don't know. And that's the really weird part is that I think they're cracking down on that more because metrosexual guys, you know, the ones that shave their vaginas, they, um, yeah, they, uh, they tend to not put up with that kind of shit. They're deginas. They're deginas. <laughs> I want to give that bitch the D, China. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, <laughs> next time you go into a Mexican restaurant, let everybody know that you're getting ready to go there and order some vaginas. <laughs> I swear to God, dude, people will look at you like, oh my God, did he just say he's going to eat vagina? Hmm, well, <laughs> um, <laughs> You could be like, yeah, man, I'm going to go in here and have some vaginas, man. That's going to be great. I'm going to eat the shit out of them. People be like, oh, my God, I can't believe he said that. And I love them little slimy things with them. <laughs> it's usually green or white. Oh, yeah. Sometimes red. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about snot vaginas. Anyway. <laughs> 
I just just remember that it's pronounced like that, vaginas. And then the people will be like, oh my God, what is he saying? And then, and then they'd be like, I think you meant to say vagina. Fajita, fajitas. Fajitas? No, vaginas, man. That's what I want. I want some vagina. Put some vagina right in front of my face, man. That's what I want. <laughs> you talk to the Mexican people. You tell them you want vagina. And then, you know, see what they say. They're like, well, wait a minute. Go get a chick at the back. Hang on. So, oh, you know, another question. It just popped up. Did you ever notice, we talked about this, I think, before. Did you ever notice there's two types of Latinos? Like Mexican Latinos, there's two types of Latinos. One's in our area, like, oh, my goodness, I'm going to get you something to eat. Or right now, you can have that. There's no problem. And then you go out to L.A., and it's like, hey, I say, what's happening? I'm going to mess you up, I say. Things are going to be bad for you, Holmes. You see what I'm saying? Like, totally different everything. Are you saying good ones and bad ones? No, no. I'm saying the way they, they talk. Oh, oh. Their style of speaking. And I don't think it's a West Coast kind of thing. I think it's like this division of Mexican people that just... Well, here, here's one thing. Now, I could be wrong, but this is, this is my take on it. And this is my view. Right. Um, Mexico, um, Puerto Rico, all these... Portugal. Uh, not Portugal. Yeah, Portugal. Though, well, they speak Portuguese, but it's no, pretty no. similar to it's between French and Spanish. Well, some of the um, Portugal... Um, Settled countries in South America. Oh, Anyways, yeah. my point being is they all come from Spain eventually. Right. At some point in time. Puerto yeah, Ricans and Mexicans do not get along. Oh, yeah. I know that for a fact. And it's just like, you guys are brothers. I know, right? What the F? I know, right? They should be cooking like similar food and everything. They're not. It's like, you know... I, uh, me and my German brothers, we all get together and have bratwurst. <laughs> Wearing our leader hosen. I <laughs> <laughs> on Oktoberfest. Everything's cool. We're having a good time. And you know, we never fight. We don't get along or we don't we don't, you know, scratch each other's backs or, you know, give yeah. each other beer or anything like that. But we don't fight. We don't hate each other. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So so, so why are the Puerto Ricans uh, why do they not get along with Mexicans? I don't know. And it's a totally different custom and culture. Everything's different about it. Especially in Puerto Rico, it's like, you know, you go there and you mention, yeah, you know, give me some vaginas. They'd be like, fuck that. What's that? <laughs> I'd be like, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can give you that. They actually yeah. speak rather well in Puerto Rico. I think they, they actually, I think in Puerto Rico, I think they feel that they're more of an upper class because they're a territorial United States, um, you know, country or, you know. Probably. I think they feel like, oh, man, we actually belong here. I don't know. Maybe that's kind of racist, but <laughs> let me get out a cross and burn that shit. Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, on fire. Hey, man, you want to play a game? Yeah, man, you want to play a game? <laughs> yeah, say you want to play a game. Don't be playing no games, homie. Hey, man, we'll play a game. We'll play a game. We'll play a game called... All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm screaming. I'm screaming, Holmes. You're going to be screaming in a minute, Nate. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's a game called... Oh, man. I want to work. I want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting ready to hit that one. Uh, great minds think I, I alike. Wonder, I wonder if it would be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay, quit playing with the sound effects. Hey, man, you want to play a game called Snippets? What he didn't know is that sometimes speed kills. <laughs> Starring David Caruso as Horatio Kane. Ooh. They should have called him Horatio Cocaine. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Dude, have you ever watched that show? Like, seriously, you ever watched the SI Miami? Are you kidding me, man? Are you serious? You My wife it? is addicted I to know these I, I watch it all the fucking time, man. If I can't find anything else on TV, I turn it over to Weed TV, which is, you know, black. And um, <laughs> seriously, that's, that's yeah. you know, that's their thing. I mean, it's cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. It's kind of like FUBU for us, by us. You know what that that's really what that stands for. I thought, oh, some dickhead fucking racist was making that shit up. No, FUBU actually stands for for us, by us, which is, you know, black folks. Anyway, we TV and I watch CSI Miami regularly. Regularly. I probably have almost all of the episodes down pat by now. It's like thirteen seasons and I think I have them all down. And yeah, if you watch Horatio Kane, it's just like if anybody, 
anybody on the planet ever acted like him, you would probably be like, what the fuck is up with this dude? Yeah, we well, get that stick out of that man's ass. <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> because he's like i don't know he's he's always got to be cool like watch watch this show sometimes watch how many times he does the eyeglass thing or the uh, oh, sunglasses yeah, yeah. thing and the other one is when he's talking to somebody he'll turn sideways and start talking to him and then he'll turn towards them a little more and then he turns back sideways and i'm like dude what the fuck are you doing if anybody ever acted like that i'd be like dude what's wrong with you man are you okay but yeah, what you I'm, don't know right now, Mister Geschenauer, <laughs> is that knife is about to go through you at interstate speeds. <laughs> yeah. It looks like this time the chicken choked back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea for a skit, a David Caruso NCIS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do that. You you have to tell us what the crime was, just simply by yeah. his tagline. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the chicken had the last laugh. Wait, yeah. What did you say? What did you say? I said, looks like. Oh, I said. Uh, hang on, I'll tell you in a second. Oh, looks like this time the chicken choked back. <laughs> 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 dude this is seriously one from i i like collected these this is seriously one from it delco says to him he had a no um not delco the the cop frank he says he had a telephone jammed up his anus and he <laughs> i shit you not he goes he, he goes well then i guess that was a close call <laughs> <laughs> dude i'm like what seriously that's just fucked up <laughs> it's just wrong it's just wrong as shit man damn. <laughs> would you mind holding sir <laughs> i'm gonna put you on speakerphone to jam up my anus <laughs> hello oh 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 <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, 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 sir, sir, sir. We'll come back, 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 back and let you know, no, no, what's going on, oh, no, no, you know. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Horatio, man, we got to do something with him uh, at some point. Yeah. What, you want to hear something I'm working on? Okay, what are you working well, on? Well, actually, I'm not working on it. I have, I have outsourced all of my jokes to the Jeff and Dan Research and Development. Okay. They now write them for me and give them to me. Okay. Very so, cool. This one joke that we're all working down on in research and development is imagine a football game. Okay. You got a quarterback there. He goes into the he goes into the huddle and he calls a play. Dagger right seven hundred on two. Dagger right seven hundred on two. Ready break. And he goes up to the line. Blue forty two. Blue forty two. Down! Shit! Hut! Hut! Sorry, did I do that too Yeah, it was a little loud. That's all right. Anyways. Now, what if Beavis was quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> okay. we, got, we got Beavis in the huddle. <laughs> um, um, yeah, yeah, um, marijuana pass to the right 420 on one. <laughs> 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 Beaveth and Butthead. <laughs> Who <Hope> Beaveth? <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We will work on that. We will work on that. <laughs> Blue Waffle 42. Blue Waffle 42. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Blue 42. <laughs> Need TV for my bang hole. <laughs> Down. <laughs> like TV <Timmy> Kaka. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, center guy, give, give me your ball. <laughs> <laughs> You're touching at the butt. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I liked it. What else we got? What's R and D? <laughs> oh, oh, what's R and D research and development? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, what else we got? Um, they're also working on uh, some um, some other good jokes. Like, um, do you remember the real popular TV show? Back in the eighties, called Night Rider. Yes. Hey. Um, 
a man, Michael Knight, barely alive. We can rebuild him. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about jamming some shows together, <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, take Kit. Kit was his car. Right. And you remember how he used to talk? Yeah. Hey, Michael. <laughs> if we keep going too fast, we're going to run right over that guy. <laughs> yes. Hey, well, why don't we take his voice what, and, and apply it? With some other kind of voice in that, uh, you know, little sound card that Kit's got in his car. Yeah. Why don't we give it a black man's voice? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michael. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> some shit, man. What the fuck is going on, man? Damn. Somebody came in here and stole your battery. <laughs> <laughs> I say we go get the motherfucker. <laughs> what, what about a black, what, what, what about a gay guy? Oh, a gay guy. Yeah. Oh, Michael. <laughs> God, I love the way you feel in my leather seats. <laughs> <laughs> oh god this is turning horrible <laughs> this is turning really horrible quick <laughs> it's just nasty it's just nasty <laughs> it's not a vacuum cleaner anymore michael i just want to suck you man <laughs> <laughs> oh, i have not seen michael knight for days has anybody seen him <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the bat cave. <laughs> there he is getting blown by a vacuum cleaner and shit. <laughs> Night Industries 2000. Yeah, that was actually what it was. That's what Kit stood for. K I T T. Night Industries 2000. Did you know that? No, I did not. Yeah, that's the what The year stood 2000? For. Yeah. Considering they were using a 1985 exactly. car? Yeah. The, well, they, what they were trying to say is that, you know, this is what we're looking at in the future, you know. Mm. What's going on, Devin? Mm. Not much, Michael. I think what we're going to have to do is make sure you don't get sucked off in your car anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, on Facebook now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, that's just wrong. <laughs> Funny as hell, but wrong. <laughs> <laughs> gonna probably have a different voice like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> mm. <laughs> damn we're so wrong man so Yee-haw. wrong that's okay we're having fun with it though Yee-haw. hey did i tell you that alzheimer's joke no i forget <laughs> did i steal your punchline no that no. was it eh? did i tell you that alzheimer's joke i don't know that was it the whole punchline is right there <laughs> oh god i can fill in the blank for you yeah i you know i've come to find out that i like my coffee like i like my women naked and afraid <laughs> <laughs> i like my coffee like i like my women too yeah <laughs> sitting there quietly <laughs> steaming hot <laughs> damn right Woo-hoo! life on the range ivanka hey, trump the apple doesn't far fall doesn't fall far from the orange anyway what <laughs> ivanka trump the apple doesn't fall far from the orange <laughs> <laughs> you know the saying is the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Funny. I'm sorry, I had to dissect that one for you. Ivanka's beautiful. Oh man. yeah, she's she's pretty. She's all right. She uh, actually, she believe it or not, she reminds me of uh, this chick used to be an actress named Pia Zadora. Pia Zadora. Yeah. Yeah, never heard of her. P I A is her first name, and Zadora Z E D O R A. If you look her up, man, you can see what I'm talking about. She's you know, Ivanka did, um, like, a partially nude catalog thing, right? No. Yeah, she's wearing, like, a mesh shirt, and you can see, like, her breasts easily. Can you see nippleage? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if it was post-kid or pre-kid, but it doesn't matter. You can still see her nipples. And this didn't... <laughs> <laughs> That's what really fucking matters. This this didn't come out in the election at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't you know that Melania did modeling, too? No. Yeah, she did modeling. She Wait, which one's the daughter? Which one's the wife? Ivanka is the wife, or is the daughter? Okay, that's what Melania I thought. Melania is the wife. Melania is actually as old as I am. I didn't realize that, but yeah, she's well, forty six. Well, she, she just turned forty seven. Well, you, you can tell by looking at her; she's not seventy. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, but he grabbed her by the pussy. Anyway. 
<laughs> so I got some. I got some for you. Um, right. I know okay. you had talked about the one night uh, when you took off a little while back. You said you had something going on with the PA lottery. Did it have anything to do with this new game called Fast Play? No, it didn't. Shit. Mm-mm. Why? It's because I, I don't know, man. Have you? you I've taken you dealt with this, or you've yes. seen what Fast Play is? I, it's I'm like getting of it. a scratch off without fucking scratching oh, anything off. Man, it's it's it's, it's a scam. It's new. It brings new um, meaning to the word ripoff. Yeah. It seriously does. It is It is really like, okay, um, I'm the dealer, and you guess what number's behind my back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And it's I like, thought exactly that same thing. So, so they're, what I imagine, and I don't, oh, you know, sometimes, I love my customers, but sometimes they're so damn stupid. I know, yeah. I, I can just visualize Somebody in the lottery just sitting there watching. Okay, we've sold 9,000 of these tickets. Now we can start putting out some $10 winners here and there. Right, yeah. I mean, they don't even, they, they can make their money way before. And you can't sit there, tell me that there is yeah. it's all. It's all on the up and up. It's all, you know, computer. Right. There's no way that that can t- potentially Because be the computer runs a chance of bankrupting you in the first hours. Right. Because it could give away that jackpot. I mean, if it really was computer driven, if it really was, you know, computer picks all the numbers. Yeah. Then there, there's a chance it could it could pull up all jackpots. Right. Right. Know. So there has to be something dividing it, keeping it from doing that. Right. And, and another thing, another thing about the lottery, there has to be somebody that knows. There are probably a group of more than one that knows where the winners are at and where they're going. Right. Because if you didn't do that. Your ass would be out there hanging in the breeze. You exactly. not knowing could really put your company, in this case, Scientific Games, in the state of Pennsylvania, right, yeah. in, a, in a real financial catastrophe uh, well, situation. Th- well, not only that. I mean, <clears throat> think about this for a second. I know the lottery provides all the stuff that you get. For the most part, you get the paper and stuff from them, the ink and stuff, and the machines all come from them. The only thing they don't provide is the electricity. Right. And... Th- I mean, it's nominal at most because it's a computer. Computer is not really that big. But the fact of the matter is, I don't even know if they give an increase to retailers. It wasn't when we were back, you know, managing shit. Wasn't it like a nickel? It's 5%. Yeah. And 10% on the... um, On the wins. uh, On uh, holiday games. Oh. Holiday instant tickets. Right. Holiday instant tickets, the commission is 10%. Oh, that's higher, yeah. Well, still, 5%. I bet they're not giving that up. I I bet they're still 5% for even this fast play show. Oh, yeah. It's all 5% except the Christmas games. But see, that's really, really screwed up because if you think about it, that is them not having to put out money to build these tickets. All they're doing is is rolling it out on paper and throwing a little ink on it. That's it. They're not having to do all this, you know, well, let's put this really cool stuff on here and let's put this, you know, make sure that it's all legit and have all this coding and stuff on here and those little blocks where you have to scratch off in order to catch your ticket. They don't have any of that shit. I mean, they have the the, uh, QR code at the bottom, but that's pretty much it. I'm like, dude, it's literally like walking down the street and handing your money to a guy and just keep walking. (laughs) It is. It is. Unfortunately... Myself included. Uh, if I could borrow a song from the Eagles, the lure of easy money has a very strong appeal. Yes, it does. Yeah. And and that's exactly what they're selling. Yeah. Easy money. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, I mean, <clears throat> there's got to be an algorithm that they're using. Now, whether or not it's human controlled or not, I have no idea. But the algorithm, algorithm has to be strong enough to know they're taking in more than they're putting out. Beyond anything, they have to know that they are still you know, recouping their cash and some. That being the case, I mean, it just, it's like playing uh, at a casino. Oh, I see what you're saying with these, with these um, fast cash, instant, instant. Yeah. They don't have to do anything but print it out, print up a ticket and have some kind of hard drive somewhere maintaining it. Exactly. And if you're a, if you're a retailer and you're smart and you hit the, the ticket and you're getting ready to give it to the customer and you're looking at it and you go, fuck, there's a big winner on here. Oh, I'm sorry, this misprinted. Let me try that again. <laughs> Dude, what's to stop them from fucking doing that? There's if, nothing. If you are quick enough, yeah. just take all the winners. Exactly, exactly. Keep printing out the fucking losers. <laughs> Give them to the people, man. Just take the winners, man. Keep rolling in the money. I mean, shit. And it's not that... Have you played? No, I haven't. Have I've seen, seen somebody play. Yes. It does not take 
it, it, if you if you have Knowledge. reasonable reasonable intelligence, you can almost instantly see if it's a winner or right. not. Exactly. Yeah. You just have to be able to scan quickly. Scan quickly. That's yes. That's the main thing. If you can tell that that first line of numbers is any of those numbers on the inside on the other side, whichever game you're playing, I mean, it's different different things, but the majority of them are. Is this number in your row of shit? Just like it is pretty much on every other scratch off. So yeah, I mean, I, dude, I just I can't believe how lame that is. You I know? can't believe how successful it is. I know. Yeah, it hasn't gotten dropped or anything. It's, well, we are selling them. Yeah, like hotcakes. I'm pretty sure you would. I just don't see why people don't see through it. You know, dude. Maybe you can answer a question about myself. Okay. Who am I? You're Dan. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're um, Dan the man. How comes I can look at all forms of gambling, instant tickets, um, online gambling with daily numbers, yeah. um, casinos? I can go to the casinos and just sit and look at them, not put a nickel in. Right. All these forms of gambling, just like acid on a duck's back. Yeah. They don't have. Rolls they don't, right off me. They don't have. <laughs> now. <laughs> until it's going, hey, man, colors. <laughs> <laughs> now you take me to a horse track and i will spend everything in my pocket <laughs> why? and on your bank card and your mortgage and, and <laughs> yes I know, yes man. why why i don't know i don't know same way same way for me except for going to a casino what do you mean everything else to me is just like meh i might play a lottery ticket every once in a while but i'm not addicted to it i'm not gonna pull it out and be like oh my god i'm throwing all my money into this no but if i go to a casino and I'm playing like poker or whatever on the uh, on the machines, dude. I'm jamming quarters in left and right. Really putting the, putting the card in, wasting fucking ATM. I mean, I literally will now put my bank card on the the play card. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, just just take all the fucking money off of it. Just don't even worry about it. I'm just gonna you know spend a couple of hours in here. You're gonna feed me two drinks over 17 hours, and then you know I'm gonna leave. There better be a buffet coupon on this card. <laughs> Complimentary, sir. Yes, good. That's okay. You took four hundred dollars from me, you pricks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that one time I went to. Uh, well, I was staying with you when we uh, up there in West Fairview, oh. and I went to. I went to. Uh, <laughs> I had my mini truck. I remember this. And I drove to Atlantic City, mm-hmm. and I got there, and within four plays, I'd hit it big. <laughs> I was just like, I'm not fucking leaving right now. I just got here. <laughs> well, you know, I you know. Have. I I wouldn't have known what to do. First of all, I wouldn't have done something like that because it's not my style. Yeah. But if I would have and I would have won, what would have what would I have done? Well, we're going to hit a buffet. Yeah. Well, that's the thing though. Then what are you going to do? Road. You drove 4 <laughs> hours <laughs> exactly to get there. Jammed only a couple of quarters in there. One, I don't remember how much it was, like 400 bucks or something. I don't know, but I know that I ended up putting it all back in there. But that's what I'm saying, man. Casinos for me are just like like kryptonite. I get in there and I'm like, I'm no longer Superman. Fuck it, let's just put some shit in Lois Lane. Oh, <laughs> Blow her fucking uterus out. <laughs> yeah. Let's put this six inch dollar <laughs> bill in Lois Lane. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> She's got a slot. Want to take it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're horrid people. Oh, no, that's where you run your card through. That's where you swipe your card. Yeah. Maybe we should talk about this airplane accident that happened this past week. Oh, we have an airplane accident? Uh, I think so. It oh, might do happen. Do tell me. Do tell me. <laughs> it <laughs> might happen. I don't know. Oh, oh. I'm putting it out there just in case, you know, to be like, okay, yeah. We are now looking at Jeff's crystal balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see if we can see the future. I'm looking deep into my balls. Here we go. Oh, well, I see there's another kid in Jeff's future. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> oh, my wife would be angry. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> hey, you Sweet. feel like playing a game? Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Okay. Oops. What game do you want to play? I don't know. Do you want to play snippets? You know what I haven't done? Real quick. Just let me do this real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't even think I have the ah oh, shit. I don't have that on here. And we're over with that. Damn it! It was that fast. What no. was it? Uh, the um, hang on, I'll tell you. I'll show you. While you're looking for that, do you want me to entertain the audience? Yes. Because entertain. you light up my smoke. <laughs> Hell's yes. Yeah, I'm not very good at singing, and I'm, I'm not. How about if I just play you some sound effects? That's what the audience likes. Sound effects. Damn right. <laughs> yeah. They've, they've, uh, 
They've done focus groups on this. They like our sound effects that we stole. <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, we do have a stop button. Yes, we do. Thank God. Man, I, I just got to hear these stuff. screams. Sometimes I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Somebody is fucking putting it into her. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what I meant to do. Here's a, here's what I meant to do. The asshole word of the week. We haven't done this one in a while. Oh, we have not done an asshole word of the week. I know, right? It really sucks. Okay. Uh, asshole word of the week is woke. 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 I'm so fucking si- sick and tired of hearing pay- people say, oh, he woke. She woke. The can definition, woke, although. Can you use woke in a sentence and let me try to guess what it is? He woke. She woke. That's pretty much it. I'll, I'll explain it to you. He woke. Woke. Although an incorrect tense of awake, a reference to how people should be aware in current affairs. It is most often used to describe a man who is also a feminist, which means he shaves his vagina too. <laughs> That's the definition of woke? <laughs> that last part wasn't, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the part about the feminist is the guy who's... You know, a hip on on everybody getting equality and blah blah blah. That's, so you know, they just say he woke. He woke, right? He He's woke. woke, and it's it's quite literally a common black phrase. It's not something that like white people you hear him, you know, going around going, "Hey man, he woke." You know, is, is it is it's it? It's like a rap phrase or a. Is something. it coming from awoke or awake? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like. Oh, he opening, woke up now. He all right, woke up. Right. He like, all woke up. Do you don't even have to say up? You just say woke. Bay, get me another cup of coffee. Bae. Are you woke? <laughs> that shit sus, man. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that was our the asshole word of the week. All right, now we can definitely do the. Uh... Let's play some. Do you want to play a game? Yes, let's play a game. Oh my goodness, he needs to play a game. Can you name that actor? No. I can't? No. I can't remember what this fucking name is. <laughs> Who's the guy I was always with Humphrey, Humphrey Bogart? Oh, God. If anybody remembers what that dude's name is, please come and tell me. He's the guy that walked around acting like this all the time. I'm oh, sorry, sir. Cheech. Cheech. Cheech Marin. <laughs> Hey, man, what are you doing, dude? Stop here. What are you trying to say? Nothing, man. I'm just trying to say everything's cool, man. I could smoke a blunt here if I want to, man. <laughs> Not here. There's no smoking during. That's right. Yeah, we can't smoke in here. Thank you very little. Thank you very little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Here we go. We're gonna do snippets. Snippets. Yes. And I am gonna run the the sound machine, so we'll get a chance here. It's. It's everybody's favorite game. It's snippets. Snippets. Okay, thank you. Basically, what happens is we play a portion of a song, and then we respond either answering a question that they asked or just what we think the next line should be. And that's what it is for right now. It's called Snippets. It probably gets another name at eventual time, and that paid people to love it even more. But, man, it was really successful the last time we did it, so let's see if this gets going along again. We'll see what happens. All right, man, you ready? I am ready. The objective of the game is to just come up with something funny and make people laugh. And the big stuff is now there's going to be some stuff that Dan knows about and some stuff that I know about, and we pretty much both know about what's going on in both. But the thing is... <laughs> The thing is, I will play the snippet of the song one time, and then I will pause, and I'll play it again, and then is what we we do a thing. Our response to try and make people laugh. I mean, little giggles here and there. Yes, Hmm. giggles. I said giggles. All right, so here we go. Here's the first one. Okay, now we're going to play it one more time. She's as wide and loose. She's probably had more Mexicans go through her than the Rio Grande itself. <laughs> ah, this is what I said for it. I say. That borders Texas and is about to have a wall put through it. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Okay. So we got another one for Dan. We took a little bacon and we took. Okay, ready? Here we go. We took a little bacon and we took... Little weed. 
<laughs> we fought the bloody British down in, down in New Orleans. <laughs> That's right. We fired was... our bulls and the British kept it running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I got some sex and I kept it coming. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, here's what I got for it. We took a little bacon and we took... Loads and loads of acid, man. <laughs> we had fucking acid for miles, man. <laughs> All right, very cool. All right, so here's one I picked out. I sent these to you, so I don't know. If you, but you'll probably know. you probably come up with something new. But here we go. Let's get physical, physical. I want to get physical. Let's get physical. Okay, and then one more time. She really needs to have a physical doc. <laughs> okay, Dan, here's your turn. On. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was lame. That's all I could come up with. <laughs> physical on. <laughs> all right, here we go. Next one. Shoot. Oh man, I love you too. <laughs> we got it. Here we go. But not as much as your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Nice. All right, here we go. The next one. Uh, this one's on there too. the second one. I need to know. What's wrong with that? Well, for starters, you're British. And, oh, yeah, couldn't be classist. Okay, here we go. This is yours. <clears throat> I need to know. Directions to I-95, because I'm late for an appointment. <laughs> nice. Very cool. All right, here we go. This is one I picked up, too, so... Yeah, there's this kid's kind of mixed in between. Yours are coming up here in a second. That's okay, that's okay. All right. Okay, you ready? Could you, could you, re I'm not familiar with this song. Could it's you called Happy. Could you, <laughs> could you repeat the lyrics? <laughs> sure, it's happy uh, because I'm happy. Um, clap along if you think happiness is the truth. Okay. What the fuck is the truth? <laughs> <laughs> All right, come cheers. And your lives will surely show it. <laughs> <laughs> Clap your hands. <laughs> Here's another one. Here's another one. This was. This one's. Same song, but yeah, you'll see. Okay, clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. A room without a roof. How the fuck does that make you happy? It's probably filled with dank black mold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably not fucking happy about that shit. Okay, your turn. Ah, uh, you know what? It's pouring down rain in here, and I'm not very happy at all. <laughs> I'm kind of angry. Could you please just bring back the fucking roof? <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. This is one you put, you sent up. My mama said you can't hurry No, you just have to Okay. My mama said you can't hurry now. No, you'll just have to wait. She said love will come, come easy. 
say it's a game of give and take orgasms. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yes, that's a good one. I got a couple like that on coming down this, the list here. So here's mine. My mama said you can't hurry No, you'll just have to wait. She said love don't come easy. But it's a game of give and Monopoly, so you'd better let that bitch win. <laughs> <laughs> that's right you gotta this one's a dedication man it's kind of a you know okay here we go this is one of yours why do we scream at each other this is what it sounds like we move doves okay here we go why do we scream at each other this is what it sounds like we move doves file for a PFA <laughs> 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 In fucking court. Oh, so you say he beat you. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Here's mine. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when the doves explode midair. <laughs> 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 we need a really good explosion one. Shit, I don't have one on there. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> Close this damn thing. We're going to get to it. All right, man. Here we go. Next one. This one's yours, too. Mama just killed a man. Put a gun against his head. Pulled my trigger. Now he's Okay, here we go. Mama just killed a man. Speechless. He didn't have a fucking thing to say. <laughs> Here's what I got. Just killed a man. Put a gun against his head. Pulled my trigger. Now he's part of this porn's money shot. <laughs> Did you know Freddie Mercury was talking about that shit? You know what I'm saying? He was jacking on that dude's head bad. You know? They could just call him Freddie Jackhammer. You know how it works. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Just one. creamed a man. <laughs> 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 oh god <laughs> Shit. I just threw up a little bit in my mouth No I didn't, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Here, Okay here we go This is another one of yours Wake up Maggie I think I got something to say to you It's late September and I Okay here we go Wake up Maggie I think I got something to say My birthday is less than a week, and I was wondering if you were going to get me anything. <laughs> <laughs> Better buy me some, bitch. Ice Q, ice tea's in the house. <laughs> All right, here's mine. Wake up, Maggie, I think I got something to say to you. It's late September, and I... We really haven't been keeping up with the gas bill, so we're bound to freeze to death this winter. Nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> Your GI over here to shut off any day now. <laughs> yeah, that's what it gets when you're poor. <laughs> All right, here's one of mine. Give me your heart, make it real, or else forget about it. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna let. Um, yeah. Okay, good. Let's do it. Give me your heart, make it real, or else forget about it. Seriously? All right. Well, you asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> you really wanted my heart. <laughs> All right, here we go. Give me your heart, make it real, or else forget about it. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you really need a transplant that bad? <laughs> we can help. <laughs> All right, here's another one of mine. Best thing about woman. Okay, ready? Probably jewelry. I don't know. Maybe sex, too. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. I have no idea, man. I'm so lost. All right, here's yours. 
is having a built-in sick excuse every five days, every 28 days. <laughs> <laughs> Why you can't go to work? Well, you can get bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Bow before Zod! You know. <laughs> all right, there's another one. I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling all right. Going to let it all hang out. Okay. I'm going out tonight. Just what are we letting hang out? Doesn't sound like a woman, sounds like a man. <laughs> He's hanging out there, man. Yeah, yeah, that's his wrong. All right, here's yours. I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling all right. Going to let it all hang out. I'm only letting it hang out because I just really can't spend the time to lose the 50 pounds. <laughs> Can you say Sheena Easton muffin top? Or, uh, I'm sorry, Shania Twain muffin top? <laughs> you know what's coming up soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Man, I feel like... Man, I feel like... Hedgehog. <laughs> All right, here's yours. Man, I feel like... Boom, bat. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a warm bath. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a glass of wine. I don't know. We'll see. All right. <clears throat> this one's yours. He works from... <laughs> what? He works from... No, that wasn't it. Yeah. No, it was supposed to be... My baby takes oh. the... Did, did I send you the... Yeah, you sent me the shorter part. The just that my baby takes the morning Oh, train. just that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe I said maybe I did that one because I saw it. I thought it was good. Okay, here we go. Here's yours. One more time. Over by gunpoint, kills three hostages and demands passages to Cuba and finds me waiting <laughs> for him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. I put this. I put this. To visit his ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Let's do that other that second part though. I, I pulled that one for a certain reason. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. So zoom on. We have. Oh shit! Let me try one more time. Here we go. Okay, he doesn't work. We're on welfare. The kids don't have any support. I'm about through with this dickhead. <laughs> okay, your turn. Home because he can't go to the office. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a crippled leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a great tune, by the way. I love this song. I picked this one. Honey, all sugar, sugar. I love that shit. Okay, here we go. It is how you lose your teeth. Keep them so brush up, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's yours. You are my plantation girl. <laughs> and you got me wanting shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. All right. You know this song. I know you have. This is the. Uh... Yeah, just listen. You'll see what I'm talking about. How about we don't? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you this one. I know how to in this. <laughs> no, no, we no need. No need. We need lame and pledge. <laughs> no, no, you pick it up. <laughs> Here's one of those annoying ones. <laughs> this is really his Sharona. <laughs> I, I always was singing it. N -n 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 knife Sharona. <laughs> <laughs> cool. We'll get that one. Okay, we'll get the next one. Dude, this is seriously the lyric from this fucking song. I shit you not. Running down the leg of my thigh, Sharona. Running down the leg of my thigh, Sharona. Okay, what the fuck is he talking about there? I'll tell you what. Running down the leg of my thigh, Sharona. 
dude is not black. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you right now, man. <laughs> tell you right fucking now, he's not black. I've seen a guy, I know he's not black. All right, here we go. Ready? That's why I never get dark meat at KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hang on. Okay. Then I saw her face. Now I'm. Now you know it's yours. Okay, hang on. Then I saw her face. Now I'm. Looking for a backdoor exit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get that bitch out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were this ugly. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hang on. Then I saw her face. Now I'm about to puke. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of went there, didn't we? <laughs> I have a feeling I know where this next one you were going with, so I I, I modified it just a little bit. But yeah, okay. you'll see what I'm talking about. She goes. <laughs> I wasn't going there, but <laughs> since you said it, all right, well, I, I'll go with my original. But play it again. For okay, the... here it comes. She goes in of consciousness. <laughs> I thought you were going to go here. Let's see. <laughs> Mama knew how to keep dad hard. <laughs> <laughs> and busy. <laughs> yeah, damn right. All right, cool. All right, here's one of mine. I don't have that much super glue. <laughs> God damn, that's a big heart, baby. All right, hang on. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Simple, go for it. All right, here we go. Give me another chance with that song. Okay, here we go. Unbreak my heart. You love me again. Okay. <laughs> you said it. She loves you now. Can't blame right. her. Here we go. Now, I took apart um, this uh, because there was a lot of really good shit in it, so I had to take it out. Uh, I had to dig some of the stuff out. Uh, one of them is yours. But here, listen to this. Hey, Go black, because once you go black, you can do a funk attack. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Yep. Until the meter runs out of money. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That was good. All right, here's... Uh, I got two more from that one, so... Okay, this one's yours. Will the owner of the white Honda Accord with Pennsylvania registration WFX8894 please move your vehicle from the fire lane? <laughs> That's better than mine. <laughs> Go fucking home, you suck, cracker. <laughs> All right, then that comes with this one. Fucking racist motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's yours. Play that funky music left. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, damn. What do you what do you call a dog with wings? I don't know. Linda McCartney. Oh my god, that's so fucking horrible. I can't believe I just said that. That's so crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just bringing that up because this is <laughs> that's who's coming up next. Wings. <laughs> dog with wings. She's dead. She died of cancer. I feel bad now. She have said that. Oh well. Paul McCartney will get over it. He's dying anyway. <laughs> All right, here we go. Love doesn't come in a it does if it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's yours. Love doesn't come in a minute. Unless you're using proper whacking material. <laughs> porn. Porn. That usually works. <laughs> My electronic porn magazine, or as I like to call it, a laptop. <laughs> oh, okay, here's the next one. Sometimes it doesn't come at all. Is what I tell the wife usually. I kid. I'm, I'm a cunning linguist. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't come at all. <laughs> all right, are you ready? <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't come at all. So I just roll over and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting too much of a fucking laugh. That probably shouldn't. All right, the last one for the night, and here it is. Still with uh, Paul McCartney and Wings. Okay, here we go. Can I tell you about my herpes? Oh, man. <laughs> I had a feeling we were going to sing from that one. I had a feeling we were going to go. We were going to hit the same wavelength. All right, so now you got to come up oh, with something. I got to come up with something else. Now okay. you got to come up with something. Here we go. <laughs> Dead loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about this one. I was going to do this one. You about my Amway. <laughs> I got another one. I got okay, another one. Here we go. Six ex wives. <laughs> yeah. yeah what can i tell you about that shit because it's just a, and that's it man that snippets for tonight Woo-hoo! Oh, man once we're, again we're gonna get sued chart toppers i don't know that's okay that's it's, all right it, it's um what do you call it positive no negative no i don't know um they say there's no such thing as bad press that's no such thing is. oh that's true that's true that is very true yeah so if we do get sued then you know problems. but i i see it as um What's that word, that magic word you just say? You're making fun of something. Satire. Satire. You just yes. say it's satire. It it's is satire. satire. We're so, just making fun of it. It's I, like journalism. It all comes down to the same thing. So, yeah. It really is. I mean, we're using it not in a way that we're gaining any money from it. So we can always fight on that regard. But, you know, we'll see. You know what? Sue me, man, because I ain't got nothing. Exactly. So we exactly. are going to have a good time in the court. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll just do, just do some fun. Yeah. Yeah. It'll all be good. We'll fuck them over. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so the next time we play snippets, I want to give you a little test of what we have coming up for that. What would that be? I will, uh, I will show you here in just a moment. All right. Let's good see. Test. We will do... <clears throat> We'll do a lot of 80s stuff. So yeah. We'll stuff like, uh, don't worry. Okay. We'll do some of this. All right. We're also going to do this one, which I know you and I are going to have a fucking field day with this one. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we won't go too far into it. Uh, yeah. Kids nowadays aren't going to know any of this shit. That's yeah. great because it's all from the 80s. Okay, here's a good one. Another good one. That guy's got dreads. He looks fucking cool as shit on there, man. Go, we got the 
the rock down to Electric Avenue and let you take it higher. And then we got this one. I'm sure you've heard this one before. He really, really wants Amadeus to rock him. And only Amadeus. <laughs> we also have this one. One of the first gay fucking videos ever created. Besides porn. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Relapse. Don't do it. I'm also going to make this one into one. Oh, dude, I was looking at this song this week. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So we got that to pull off from. Uh, one that I think I'm going to make an actual um, snippet that we keep and we have around is this one because we do it all the time. We talk about it. And shit. And synthesizer classics like this just don't fucking go away. And you should see this video. It's really screwed up. I was wondering if you've ever heard this song before. With everything but Yul I don't see you guys contemplating the moves I'm making. I bet you would. I would invite you, but the queens we use would not excite you. That's right, yeah. I never heard it. that song before. No, not at all. It's, and then It's Murray Head! <laughs> that's right. See if you know this one. And if you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion shits? If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion shits? In the toilet. <laughs> That's a great this song. Too. This song reminds me of the um, of a, Ru a Russian sitting on a cracker. <laughs> Putin on a Ritz. Putin on a Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like that. All right, let's hit couple more, two more that I have so far. But um, yeah, we're gonna do some '80s shit. '80s shit's fun. I know you know this song. You probably don't know the lyrics from the verses. Probably know the chorus, though. So. Oh, shit. I'm getting into the chorus, man. Come on. There we go. Turn the Japanese and pick a big soul. That's the first time I ever saw an Acrylite drum set, which is um, the clear drum set. Okay. Yeah. It's the first time I ever saw one in that. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And finally on this whole thing, uh, we'll probably have a lot more than this, but I know you know this one. Yeah, you know that one. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We know that one. Yes. Yeah, so we got a lot of 80s tunes. Oh, yes. I'm going to try and pick up a couple more. And we have that. And then you send me a list. We'll figure it out. We'll do some more snippets. Probably mm -hmm. in about two weeks. So maybe we'll maybe the 24th or maybe the 31st. Yes. Yeah. One of those days. Yeah. Would be actually great. And also, uh, a good friend of mine, a Roger Arnold, uh, should be coming up sometime. Did you get a date? Uh, no, I did not yet. Um, <clears throat> I have to send him the official date list. Okay. And say, here's what dates we can do it. Um, he was... Talking about, you know, whether or not he'd have to switch up his schedule or anything. And I said, well, you know, it's, it's not, shouldn't be that bad. I mean, you know. Three, four hours. Yeah, it's nothing. Does he work in the evenings or something? No, no, he works for the state. So oh, he's, okay. Yeah, he's daytime. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All daytime. Not All daytime. Probably eight to five. Hmm. Unfairly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what we have for snippets, man. We're going to have fun with that. All right. 
So, uh, yeah, man, that was a, that was a pretty good show. We were looking at about an hour and 15 minutes. Yes. Yeah, it's a very good show. We think we're going to wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Yes. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight has sadly come to yet another end. We have enjoyed our time together, and we are awful. Lee glad you came along for the ride. We hope you were entertained with us as we were with doing it. Sadly, the curtain must draw close now, but it will reopen again. So take heart and tune in next week when we have Name That Show Tune, <laughs> Trivial Pursuit, Woo-hoo. and more of main character P.I. Nice. Plus, next week is a very special week. Look, everyone, we have guests. Ooh. As we get a visit from Chef Tammy and Cousin Jackie. And, of course, we play 42 Questions and Jeopardy. Jeffrey. So tune in next week and every week to the no, Jeff and Dan Show. No, Jeff and Dan Show yeah. at jeffanddan.com. And now it's Spreaker.com forward slash Jeff and Dan. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to the Jeff and Dan Show. Have a good night and a great week. Hasta la bitches.